Meghan Markle wasn't given help with her wedding dress after being very rude to an army officer, a royal author has claimed. Meghan met Prince Harry in 2016 before getting married to him two years later at St. George's Chapel in Windsor. But as Meghan arrived at the chapel, she had problems with the veil of her dress. While several people rushed to assist her, an army officer didn't offer his help. And royal author Tom Bauer, who wrote, Revenge, Meghan, Harry and the War Between the Windsors, has revealed why the officer failed to step in. Mr. Bauer said, A military man told me an extraordinary story about Meghan when she arrived at the wedding at Windsor Castle on that glorious day in 2018. You see her get out of the car unaccompanied and she has problems with the train of her dress and the army officer doesn't step forward to help her. And the reason is, is the day before in the rehearsal, she had been very rude to him so he thought well I'm not going to help you today. I didn't get the story from him but a fellow officer of his, who explained what had happened, he told the Mirrors Pod Save the Queen podcast. Mr. Bauer has previously claimed on GB News that Meghan was on a manhunt when she met Harry. Speaking about the kind of pairing Meghan and Harry were when they met on GB News Breakfast with Eamon and Isabel, Tom Bauer said, I think they are both needy people, but I think the point is Meghan was on a manhunt. She was looking for a husband and an English husband and Harry was available. She carefully researched all his strengths and more importantly his weaknesses and when the moment came when she first met him she could easily, because she's an extraordinary good performer in those circumstances, she could reassure him that she was the one he was looking for. And he was desperately looking for somebody, he confessed he was a lonely man, he confessed he couldn't find anyone suitable. He had gone through some unhappy relationships. And Meghan fitted the bill, she provided everything he needed. When the world found out that Meghan Markle and Prince Harry were an item, it sounded almost too good to be true. Everyone's favorite charming, lovable red-headed royal had matched with a stunning Hollywood siren, and thus, fairy tales suddenly seemed very real. It all started in the least royal way imaginable, it turns out, as Harry and Meghan met on a blind date. While the expert matchmaker has never been revealed, there's been plenty of speculation as to who was behind the matchup of the century, with some claiming royal friend Violet von Westenholtz was behind it. Meghan's close pal Misha Nunu was also rumored to have had a hand in the golden plan. But no matter who was behind it, the result was glorious, from day dot the couple have charmed the masses with their adoring looks and ample hand holding, not to mention their stunning good looks. From romance to royalty, this couple have always stood by each other, even when they decided to step back from their senior royal roles in 2020. Now living in the US with their two children, Harry and Meghan rarely make public appearances but when they do it's full of PDA and lingering looks. Arriving at the United Nations General Assembly to mark Nelson Mandela International Day together, photographers caught the couple holding hands and sharing tender touches before Harry gave a moving speech.